in ACC games, almost 19 per game. You know, Nista Shocker for me early, and this is the fact that Miami is coming out playing man to man. Izundu, Izundu gets the bucket, but I believe that basketball was going in off of Zach Johnson's pass. Wow, this is a great sign for Florida State. PJ Savoy, he was running practices and wanted to get to a midweek church session as Lawrence gets the basket and fouls. Averaging six and a half fouls over 40 minutes, so technically he no, would not get to 40 nothing minutes. Nothing wrong with that. I think the NCAA <laughs> should change it to six fouls anyway, especially when you've got the freedom of movement rules. But right now, it's an encouraging sign for Wardenberg, but maybe not the greatest sign for Jim Laranega. Great position down low. Cabin Gelly, the basket of the foul. Dude, about Fiondu Cabin Gelly right now. His level of aggressiveness when he gets into the game only helps to get points on the board, especially in the half-court offense. Shot fake. Wardenberg to the rim. Playing with the two fouls, the Kiwi gets up there. Sports Center tonight after this move, the pump fake, and then going to the rim, P.J. Savoy on the wrong side of the poster is Sam Wardenberg aggressively attacks the basket with the two-hand finish. A little Tom Chambers-like. He was guarded by Kofer, who was coming off an injury. And this Miami stays in the man-to-man. -man. Ooh, that's beautiful by B.J. Walker. <laughs> Miami's leading score, not really able to help them much, but a lot of that also has to do with the size and length of Florida State. Well, everybody's hitting threes. Florida State 7 of 10. Cabin Gelly, just his sixth three of the season. Fiondu Cabin Gelly, 11 points, 4 of 5 from the field, and showing off the range, his sixth three-pointer of the season. Got some time off after this game. They don't play again until next weekend against Georgia Tech. And Florida State has some guys they need to get healthy. Talk to people about when Villanova won their first national championship in 2016, they were destroyed by Oklahoma over in Hawaii. Walker over to man, five to shoot. Shot clock at two. And man beats the shot clock. Tar Heels are thinking to get some retribution for what the Cards did to North Carolina on their home court a couple weeks ago. Walker, his sixth three. That's a career high. Tonight. A season high and three-pointers made, a dozen. They shot 60% from beyond the arc. Also a season high and shot a season high 56% from the field.